Does Excel have free add-ins that you can easily install and use, which can improve your reporting, data analysis, and make your life a lot easier? That's what today's video is about. I'm going to cover the top free Excel add-ins you can use right now to improve your work. Before we get started, a brief thanks to Alchemy J for sponsoring today's video. With Alchemy J, you can turn your Excel business model into OpenAPI with minimum programming knowledge. This way, you can integrate your Excel model into other applications. Now, I'm going to chat more about them towards the end, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's start with a list of Excel add-ins. I'm just going to quickly show you how you can install them and run them first. Just go to the insert tab, click on get add-ins right here. When you do, it's going to bring up the Microsoft store where you can search and install any add-ins that you need. You can also take a look at the add-ins available by the different categories. Once you add an add-in, it's going to show up under my add-ins. Now you can also come to this view right here by clicking on my add-ins directly, or if you click on the drop down right here, you get to see your recently used add-ins. When you go to see all, it's going to take you back here. So in case you ever want to remove an add-in, all you have to do is click on the options and the side here and select remove. Now let's install my first recommended add-in, which is the QR code generator for Office. That's the add-in I want. Click on add. Make sure you take a look at the license terms and privacy policy. And after you do, click on continue. This is going to install the add-in for you. And the best part about this add-in is that it's super easy to use. All you have to do is type in your URL. You can select between HTTP, HTTPS, email, telephone, SMS, geo, and custom. In this case, I'll just go with HTTPS. I'm going to type in a website and that's it. I get the QR code generated right here. I can decide on the size, click on insert, and it's going to insert it right here. Now you can copy and paste this in any office document that you need. Now, all anyone has to do is bring out their phones and scan this, and they're going to get directed to the website. Next up is the web video player. This add-in allows you to embed YouTube videos directly to your Excel spreadsheets or your PowerPoint presentations. Once you add it, you just need to paste the URL of the video that you have on YouTube or Vimeo right here. So I'm just going to paste mine in and then select set video. This is going to bring up the video directly into your spreadsheet and you can place it where you like. So this is an alternative to adding a link in your file. This is going to make it more likely that people are going to check out the link and play the video. So for example, if you're creating an instruction sheet and you want to let people know how to use a specific formula, you can already embed that video in there. Next in line is the Microsoft Visio Data Visualizer for Excel. You can create Visio type of charts from the comfort of your spreadsheet. I've already added it to my add-ins, so all I have to do is click on the drop down here and select it from this list. I get the Data Visualizer dialog box pop up here, where I can select between a basic flow chart, a cross-functional flow chart, or an organizational chart. Now, I've already done a separate video on the org chart. I'm going to add the link to the description of this video. For this example, let's go and take a look at the horizontal basic flow chart. Select the one that I like. And what it does is it creates a sample diagram for me together with sample data set. Now, the reason it does this is so that I can see in which format it needs the data to be able to create this graphic. This way, when I come to adjust it for my own data sets, I know in what format I need my own data to be, so I can copy and paste it in the table and just refresh this diagram. Now you can, of course, also manually adjust this to what you need. 
Just to show you a quick example, let's go and update the existing sample flowchart that we got. This flowchart is about creating a course module. If the module passes review, it's going to go to publish course and then the process ends. If it doesn't, we need to address feedback, then publish course, and then the process ends. Now let's say I'm fine with this process flow, except I need to add a step in between publishing the course and ending the process. And that step is to contact the department head and inform them. I need to give this process step a unique ID. Then what's the next step? Well, it should be in between these. So the next step is the end process, which has this code. So let's copy and paste it here. I can then select a shape type. I have a choice between all these different shapes. Now I just want it to be in the same shape as publishing the course, which is process. Now there is one thing I need to change because currently publish course goes directly to end. Instead of it going to end, I need it to go to my new step. So once I've updated this, all I need to do is click on refresh and I get my process added here. Now I can also save this as an image by clicking on the arrow here and saving it as an image, or I can open this in the web and save it as PDF. So the moment I click on open in the web, it's going to create a Visio file for me. When I open it, I come to the web page and on the side here, I can download this as PDF or I can directly print it if I choose to. Recently, there were improvements to this add-in. You can read more about it on the tech community Microsoft blog. The changes are listed here. They have, for example, added new templates in Excel with links to them right here. You also have the add-in available in 26 languages and you have single sign-ons. You can now easily create flowcharts and org charts without using shapes or smart art. Next up, people graph. This is automatically available under add-ins. Now in case you don't see it, you can add it by going to get add-ins. The moment I click on it, we can see what it does. It creates an infographic, in this case, a people chart based on data. Now this is just a sample graph just to show me what it can do. But of course I want it to point to my own data. The way to do that is just click inside the graph to activate these icons right here. I click on the first one where I can select my data. This is my sample data. So I'm just going to select that and click on create. You can update the header by going back to data and adjusting the header right here. Now here I have a tip for you in case you want this to be dynamic. So the moment you end up adding more information to this, that your chart updates, what you can do is turn your data set into an official Excel table. Just press control T. My data has headers. And now I can go ahead and add some more data to this and I get it inside my chart automatically. Now another thing you can do is to update the theme of this. You have the choice of updating type, theme, and shape. Under theme, I can choose a dark theme like these or go with a lighter version like here. I can also adjust the shape. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It can be money. It can be a watch. It can be a dress or a laptop. You have the ability to choose between these shapes. Now what you can also do is to save this as an image. That's how easy it is to create an infographic out of your data set. Next up is mini calendar and date picker. Once you install it, you can select it by going to my add-ins and it's going to insert a mini calendar on your spreadsheet. The advantage of having this on your sheet is that you can click on any of these dates and it's going to insert it in your sheet. So it saves you the trouble of typing in the dates and maybe typing in the dates wrong. So this is great for cases like this. If you're creating tasks and you want to come up with deadlines, you can take a look at the calendar, click on a date, and it's going to insert it 
on your sheet. Now you have the ability to make some adjustments to the look of this, so you can toggle calendar size. You can also change the calendar theme. You have the ability to change the calendar system, so instead of Sunday being first here, you could have Monday, for example, first. You can also show week numbers, but keep in mind that these are based on the US week numbers. You can show and hide settings by clicking on the gear icon right here. So once you've added your dates, you can of course have the flexibility of moving this where you want. If you don't need it, you just have to press delete and you get rid of it. Now you also have the ability to add the current time as well. Just click on it and it's going to insert it in your cell. So as you can see, I'm filming this quite late at night. With Bing Maps, you can easily plot locations and visualize your data. So the moment you click on it, it's going to insert a sample map on your Excel sheet. You get to insert sample data if you want to see how it works, or in this case, we want to insert my own data, which I have right here. So I'm just going to X this out and instead highlight my data set and to plot it on the Bing Map, I'm going to click on Show Locations. This is going to figure out my countries and it's going to plot my values as circles right here. So the moment I hover over one or I click on one, I get to see the actual sales value for that country. You have the ability to zoom in. You can move around and zoom out as you like. Now, in addition to this, you have some more options. So you can update the map type to be a bird's eye instead of a road. You can also update your data points to be pie charts instead of circles. But to get this activated, you need more than one category. So in this case, I just have sales, but let's say I have sales for two products. So this is actually product A and I have product B. And let's just add some random numbers to these that are between 100 and 300 and control enter. Now, another tip for you is to update this into an official Excel table so that the moment you add more regions or more countries to this, it's automatically going to show up in your chart. So let's go ahead and do that. Press control T, go with OK. Now let's plot this. So it brings my product being there as well. So I just click on this and I get a circle in a circle and I see the legend down here. So let me just make this a bit smaller so you can see the legend as well. Now let's change this into a pie chart. So click on the gear icon and now I can select pie chart. And I also have the ability to update the color of product A and product B. So that's the list of my top free Excel recommended add-ins. Many thanks to Alchemy J for partnering with us on today's video and supporting my channel. If you have Excel models that you want to integrate into your applications, you need an API which is short for Application Programming Interface. An API allows the Excel model to interact and communicate with another piece of software. Usually creating an API requires extensive coding know-how. Not so with Alchemy J. You can turn your Excel model into APIs in four easy steps. Step one is to create your Excel model. In step two, you define the functions your API provides, the parameters they have, and the access control they need. In step three, by simply clicking a button, Alchemy J will analyze your spreadsheet and then generate the Java, REST, or JavaScript API that implements the business logic contained in the Excel spreadsheet. And step four is to start using the API or integrating it into your applications. It can be a REST web service or a Java package. With Alchemy J, you also get a testing tool that allows the users to define one or multiple sets of test data and run them before and after the API has been compiled. Alchemy J also automatically generates an open API specification based on the model defined in Excel. This allows you to describe your entire API and generate the specification with a single click.
In short, Alchemy J can significantly shorten the time needed to create, implement, test, and document an interface. In addition to this, Alchemy J offers multi-developer collaboration to maximize efficiency for creating complex API models. Alchemy J offers a free test version as well. To find out more, check out the link in the description of this video. That's it for today. If you have a favorite Excel add-in that you're currently using, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And if you like what you see on this channel, consider subscribing and do click that bell so you get notifications when I release new content. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.